Hi, and welcome to the Sentasci.ai tutorial on how to train a classification model for one class. A common scenario is that you want to recognize only a single class or a type of object. However, when training a classification model, there is a requirement that there has to be at least two classes in the training set. In this tutorial, we will show you how to circumvent this problem. Consider, for example, that I want to recognize only a single type of mushroom, Boletus. For this, I need a few images that correspond to this kind of mushroom. Uh, what I also need is some images that correspond to what I call background class. This could be uh, images of other types of mushrooms, images of forest without mushrooms, or any other unrelated images. Try to put the same kind of diversity of images into the background class as you are expecting to have in the production stage. For example, if in the production stage you are expecting to have a lot of images of forest with or without mushrooms, then you should uh, put uh, such images into the background class. So this little trick has helped you to have two classes even though you want to recognize just a single class, in this case, Boletus. Now, when I have two classes, I'm ready to start training. Before starting training, don't forget to unselect any filters that you might have had. To start training, just click Start, Single Label Classification, and Start, just as I showed in the previous tutorials. Once the model is trained, I can click View Training Statistics, uh, Show Predictions, and I will see that the model is able to identify two classes, Background and Boletus. Actually, this is all you need to know to train a model to recognize a single class using Sentisci.ai platform. However, I want to give an extra tip of when such training can be useful. Sometimes in your dataset, you might already have images labeled with a few different classes. However, uh, a classification model often works better for two classes than for multiple classes. Therefore, you might want to have a separate classification model that recognizes Politus versus background, Chanterelle versus background, Fly Agaric versus background, and so on. We'll show you how to quickly do that. You should start with by setting a background label for all of your images. You can do this by adding a new background label here, selecting all images either by clicking this button or Ctrl A on your keyboard, and then uh, clicking a plus sign on, next to the background label. Now you can see that next to the main label, which is the mushroom type, all images have uh, also the background label. As you remember from the previous tutorials, when images have more than a single label, only the so-called default label, which is encircled in white, will be used in single label classification. So what you need to do now is to set uh, the default label to the background class in all images except for the images of the mushroom type uh, that you would like to identify. You should start by setting background label as default in all of the images. You can do this by clicking this arrow and click set as default. Now you can see that the background label is the default one in all of the images. Now, let's assume that I want to identify Boletus versus background. Then again, I uh, set Boletus as the default in all of the images. So, uh, all images that contain Boletus will have Boletus as the default label, whereas other images will have background as the default label. Now, I can start to train a single label classification model by clicking Train Single Label Classification. I will see that I have two labels, Boletus and Background, and I will name this model Boletus. 
similarly as before, once the model is trained, I can click uh, View Training Statistics, uh, Show Predictions, to see that this model can identify two classes, Background and Boletus. Now I can do the same for the other types of mushrooms. So first I set the background class as the default in all images again. And then assuming I want to identify chanterelle, I set chanterelle as the default in all images. Now I can click train, single label classification. I can see that I have two labels, chanterelle and background. So I'll name this model chanterelle. Now I have two trained models one of which I can use to identify Boletus, and another one which I can use to identify Chanterelle. Continuing this procedure for all five uh, mushroom types, I'll have five different models that can identify one mushroom type against the background each. This sometimes works better than having a single model that can identify uh, all five classes uh, itself. The trade-off that I'll have to use uh, five models instead of one and the execution time will be longer. So this is all I wanted to share in this tutorial. Thanks for watching.